I'm Anil Kumar. We are discussing how to solve linear systems. Here is question number three. Peter invested dollar eight thousand. He invested part at five percent per year, and the remainder at six percent per year. If the total interest for the year was five fifty seven point five zero dollars, how much did he invest at each rate? Now, to solve such questions, I believe in a very simple uh, line sketch. We can start with total investment is eight thousand. Let's say this is the total investment, right? Which is eight thousand dollars. Now, this is being invested at two different rates. So let us say some amount is invested at the rate of 5% and some at the rate of 6%, right? So some is invested at 5% and some is invested at 6%. 5% means 0 0.05 divided by 100, 6% means 0 0.06. Is that okay? We don't know what amount is invested here, what in amount is invested here the, on 6%. That is what the question is. It says, how much did he invest at each rate? So we don't know that. So that last statement gives you an idea to define your variables. So how much did he invest at each results into defining variables, right? So let's define our variables. Let's say let Peter invest X dollars at 5% and Y dollars at 6%, right? So this is our let statement. So we are saying X dollars is invested at 5%, Y dollars is invested at 6%, right? Now the idea is form equations using these statements solve them to get the value of x and y so that's the strategy you can always pause the video answer the question and look into my strategy and the solution so let's read the question once again it says peter invested eight thousand dollars he invested part at five percent per year and the remainder at six percent right so we are correct if the total interest for the year is this much now what is interest equals to so interest is equal to amount invested we say p rate at which it is invested and t time now one year so principal in our case is x and y so the amount invested rate is five percent and six percent right so that becomes the rate let me use another ink to write down so this is the rate this is the rate this is the principal do you see this is the principal is it okay and time t is one year so for the year one year so in both cases we have t equals to one year is it okay so t is one so now if you invest x dollars at five percent how much interest do you get we'll use this formula correct so in this case interest is you have to multiply x with the rate of interest is it okay so that is the interest and in this case the interest is so the interest here will be 0.05x and on this side the interest will be 0.06y okay so that is the interest which peter gets on these investments and their total is how much their total is five i mean 457.50 so that gives you the second equation okay so now you can write both the equations so what are the equations for us the equations are first one x plus y equals to 8000 correct and the second one and whenever you write one equation you can isolate one of the variables you can say x is equals to 8000 minus y so it's a good practice now from the second equation we are working on interest total interest is 4 
57.50 and it is sum of these two that is 0.05x plus 0.06y. Do you see that? So we get our second equation, correct? So let me call these as our equation number. I'll call this equation number one, this as equation number two. We isolated variable, we call this as equation three. So isolate variable. Now, we actually want to eliminate one of these variables because we have two variables in this equation that we can do by substitution. So what we'll do now here is we'll sub the value of x from 3 in in 2. Is that okay? So we'll replace this x with 8000 minus y. So the equation which we'll work with now is 457.50 equals to 0 0.05 times 8000 minus y plus 0 0.06y. So now we have an equation which is in one variable y. We can always find the value of this linear equation, correct? So let's continue. We have 457.5 equals to multiply these two, right? So let's use calculator now. 8000 times 0 0.05, 400. Minus 0.05y plus 0.06y. Correct. Uh, we can actually combine these terms and solve. Let's go one more step. 457.50. Let's bring the numbers on the left side. We get minus 400 equal to. So 0 0.06 take away 0 0.05 is 0 0.01y. Correct. So the equation is 0.01y equal to this difference, right, which is 57.50. Taking away 400 from 457.50. I hope you can see it, right? Let me just push it a bit. Now, y is equals to 57.50 divided by 0.01, correct? So two decimals. So that gives us 57. 50. That's the value of y. So you know now y, which is 5750. What is x equal to? 8000 minus y. So 8000 take away 5750. Let's do it. So first we did 57.50 divided by 0 0.01. That gave us 5750. And now we'll take out from 8000, 5750. Correct? 2250, so which is 2250. So x is 2250. Now both these values are in dollars. And therefore, answer should be written in dollars. So the answer is the amounts are dollar fifty seven fifty and dollar twenty two fifty. Is it okay? And it adds up to eight thousand. So that is how this eight thousand is going to be split. Amadil Kumar. I hope you understand and appreciate the method which we have adopted to solve any linear system involving interest, simple interest, okay? So you can actually split the amount into x and y. Some of those x and y is the total amount. Interest is multiply the amount by the rate per year. Get the interest, add them, and solve your linear system. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope that helps. You can always share my videos, feel free to post questions and if you like it, you can put some likes. Thank you and all the best.